okay guys so we'll be continuing on seeing more on isotopes so isotope formation takes place due to the emission of one alpha and two beta particles takes place due to emission of one alpha and two beta particles okay so we have x z and a here so this forms a minus 4 plus 2 helium 4 plus 2 electron minus 1 0 which is 2 beta partic particles so now these two are isotopes okay so why we need two beta particles so as to balance or cancel out the z which is added in the beta particle with the minus one of alpha particle rather two of alpha particle so two atomic mass is added from the alpha particle so yes so as to balance out z we need minus two or two beta particles so that these two have the same atomic number hence will be the isotopes so this is parent nuclei and this is daughter nuclei okay next let us see isobar so isobars formation takes place due to formation of or due to emission of rather one beta particle okay so we have 14 c6 converting into 14 n7 plus 1 beta particle okay and similarly isodiaphores are formed or rather not formed isobars uh, isodiaphores formation takes place due to emission of one alpha particle okay now let us see another important concept which is group displacement laws okay so this was given by Sodi and Fajans okay so which states that new formed element or nuclei due to the emission of one alpha particle occupied two positions left in the periodic table that new formed element or nuclei formed due to emission of one alpha particle occupied two positions left in periodic table ok and similarly we can write that new formed element rather new element formed due to new element formed due to 
emission of one beta particle occupy one position right in periodic table okay next let us see nuclear fusion and nuclear fission nuclear fission and fusion so this is the concept of mass and energy balance okay so in both processes large amount of heat involved is involved due to conversion of some mass of reactants into energy in both process large amount of heat is not involved this is evolved pardon me if i have used the term involved uh, previously speaking so in both processes large amount of heat is evolved due to conversion of some mass of reactants into energy okay now let's see nuclear fission so in this we can say that heavy nuclei actually splits into two different nuclei or uh, and neutrons heavy nuclei splits into two different nuclei and neutrons and the most important reaction in nuclear fission is uranium 238 when bombarding with one neutron produces uranium 236 and some and this uranium 236 is further used to produce some compounds x and y plus the religion of more neutrons so this neutrons again at attacks on this uranium to further propagate the reaction okay so this is a very very important reaction okay now first let us discuss the initiation of nuclear fission so initiation is that the neutron absorbed by uranium 235 or rather this is uranium 235 not 238 i beg your pardon okay so the neutron absorbed by uranium 235 converts it into uranium 236 and uranium 236 then splits into two different nuclei and neutrons this is the initiation that neutron absorbed by uranium 235 converts into uranium 236 which then splits into two different
न्यूक्लियाई एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स ओके सेकेंड इज प्रपोगेशन सो विच सेज दैट द एमिटेड न्यूट्रॉन्स further strike on uranium 235 sample and finally in the termination phase oh before going to termination so this process rate of the propagation is controlled by neutron absorbers okay and the termination finally is by absorption of all emitted neutrons by rods okay so termination is done by absorption of of all emitted neutrons by rods specifically cd rods which is cadmium rods okay and nu nuclear uh, neutron absorber absorbers as a part of nu neutron absorbers we also use cd rods or cadmium rods okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be seeing more on nuclear fusion so till then good luck and good bye